Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Richard Cannings. I'm the MP for South Okanagan, West Kootenai. And I'm here today with Luke Chapman of Beer Canada, and we're here to talk about beer and taxes. Uh, this morning, I introduced a private member's bill to remove the excise tax on low alcohol beer. That is beer with less than 0.5% alcohol content. And this fixes a curious anomaly uh, in the Excise Act where low alcohol wine, low alcohol spirits are exempt from the excise tax, but low alcohol beer is not. And none of Canada's major trading partners have excise tax on low alcohol beer. So this fix would level the playing field between low alcohol beer and wine and spirits. It would eliminate an inadvertent barrier to the introduction of low alcohol beer. It would align Canada with our major trading partners. It would give Canadians more choice in non-alcoholic beer. And it would respond to a 2020 recommendation from the House of Commons Finance Committee to do just this. So I'll give you some quick facts and figures. In 2020, the federal government collected $1.1 million in excise tax on non-alcoholic beer. That represented 380,000 hectoliters of beer. There were uh, 132 million cans of non-alcoholic beer produced in Canada in 2021. And since 2015, the sales of non-alcoholic beer have increased by about 200%. So it's a growing domestic market. It still only makes up about 2% of overall beer sales. But when we look at other mar markets such as Europe, we can see that uh, Canada is heading in that direction. We are increasing our consumption of low alcoholic beer. And I'd just like to say a few things about next steps. This is a private member's bill, so people are always saying, you know, how is this going to be passed? How is this going to affect change? Well, I think this is one of these, I think, eminently reasonable bills that fixes a problem uh, in the Excise Act. And I think it's fully within the spirit of the Act, no pun intended. And I think there's an opportunity here to quickly implement this bill if all parties are willing. I've had some preliminary talks with all three parties and I think there's a good chance that we can move forward quickly on this either through inclusion in the government's um, Budget Implementation Act coming up or through a unanimous consent motion to move this through the House of Commons without debate. And so with that I'm going to turn the floor over to Luke Chapman from Beer Canada for a few more remarks. Well, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Luke Chapman. I'm the Vice President of Federal Affairs at Beer Canada. Uh, our membership accounts for 90% of the beer that is produced uh, in Canada. And I just want to start by saying thank you to Richard and his NDP colleagues for uh, bringing forward this beer uh, bill in support of uh, Canadian brewers. Uh, Canadian beer fans, and also uh, the 149,000 uh, jobs across Canada that depend on the sale of beer. Um, a lot of Canadians might not be aware, but we are one of the only countries that currently applies an excise tax to non-alcoholic beer at or below 0.5% uh, alcohol, alcohol by volume. Uh, and it just so happens that tomorrow uh, those excise duty rates are set to increase. Uh, just have as they have uh, for the past six years uh, since 2017. Um, so the introduction of this bill, the timing around it is very important, uh, not just because of the, the rate increase that is set for tomorrow, which will ultimately make uh, beer more expensive for Canadian consumers, uh, but also because um, growth in non-alcoholic sales in Canada has uh, been happening uh, over the past uh, four or five years. Um, and we're starting to see um, interest in, uh, in these types of products across a, a broad spectrum of the consumer base uh, of beer grow uh, subsequently as well. So um, we're hoping that um, you know, 
Richard's uh, private members bill can be um, included in uh, next week's federal budget. Uh, we think that this is a, an issue that would be easy to support across different parties, uh, and we're looking forward uh, to, it, to it getting addressed. And ultimately, the passing of this bill uh, and removing the excise duty on non-alcoholic beer uh, will be a good signal to industry uh, brewers in, in terms of uh, providing them a signal to invest in this space of the market and could ultimately lead to uh, growth in the non-alcoholic beer options that are available to, to Canadian consumers uh, over the long term for those occasions where you know Canadians might be looking to pass uh, on the alcohol, which we're seeing uh, happen more and more uh, these days. So thank you again to Richard. Thank you to the NDP uh, party for their support of this bill in the Canadian beer industry. And we're looking forward to seeing this issue uh, progress and ultimately addressed uh, in the short term. Thank you. And I would uh, open the floor to any questions, if, if there are any. We don't have any questions on Zoom and no one in the room. So this uh, will end the press conference. Well, thank you very much.